okay guys welcome back welcome back to my youtube channel again and good to know that you are here and i hope everybody is doing all right today and just before we get started in this youtube video i would like you all to go and subscribe to Raim vlog also you could leave your comment in the comment section of how um great you think my videos are if they need any more improvements you could do that all right so we are we are the same topic of laws of indices and you can see here it says continue so if it's your first time watching laws or hearing of the topic laws of indices you could go watch my first video to know what are laws of indices all right so we did a multiplication in the previous video and now we're gonna do um, the power to power of indices all right so you could go and watch my first video and you can catch on with this topic all right so we're doing we're gonna do a multiplication first and then we're gonna go into the power to power of indices all right so let's go all right so remember we we said in the previous video that this small number at the top here is called an index or we call it an indices all right also you can call it a power so this is a to the power of three multiplied by a to the power of four all right so when you're seeing a question like this and you must be wondering um how could you solve this it, what it simple mean that um when you see the two base numbers or the two base letters are the same you just write back this um same base letter in this case all right and with the two numbers most students will multiply the, the four times the power of three they will get um a to the 12 here but this is not the correct answer for this all right because you, you should not uh, multiply these two you should add the three and the four so this is a plus So you should get um, 3 plus 4 which is 7 all right so this should be a to the 7 for that one all right let's do an next one still using letter a so this a to the power of 6 multiply by a to the power of 3 okay so remember when you have the same letters which is your base letters you're gonna put a And we're gonna add these two so it should be six plus three we should give you nine all right so this is um how you multiply um letters by by using the laws of indices all right so we're gonna go into the numbers where the numbers would be the would be the base all right so let's say you have four to the power of two
multiply by 4 to the power of 3 okay so in the meantime you can go and solve this one I'll give you a minute or three minutes to solve this one and let me know what you got for your answer Okay, so have you got an answer for this one? Okay, so it should be 4. And remember, we're going to add the two powers at the top. So it should be 3 plus the 2 will give you 5. And if you want the answers out in full, like you want the right answer for this, it should be um let's use this let's change the color let's use red all right so it should be four multiplied by itself five times So is it 5, 4? Let's see. Yep, it's 5, 4. So 4 to the to the power of 5 is the same thing as um, 4 multiplied by itself 5 times, alright? So your answer should be... Let's see, what should this answer be? Says four times four times four times. Why well, answer should be two fifty six? Let me know in the comment section what answer you got for this. Should be three thousand one hundred and twenty five. So it should be three thousand one hundred and twenty five. So if you got a different answer for this, you can let me know in the comment section, alright? So hope you guys take a screenshot. Because we're going to erase this, alright? Alright, so we're gonna go into the we're gonna go into power to the power. So we are at this topic right here. Power to power. 
all right so the power of power would be a little bit different so if you have a a to the power of m you put this inside a bracket to the power of n so how would you solve this a to the power of m inside a bracket with a to the n at the top all right so to solve this you would have to multiply these two you have to multiply these two so it should be a to the m multiply the power of n all right so let me know if you understand how um I got this so we multiply the power inside with the power outside of the bracket all right so let's use numbers let's say you have a to the power of 2 put this inside of a bracket here and you want to have um, a 3 on, this, on the outside of the bracket so it's same thing as the first one we multiply the numbers the power, the power numbers so it should be a to the power of 2 multiplied by the outside power which is 3 is that the 3 yep three and your answer for this let's use a different color just so you guys would understand what's going on um should be a three times two will give you six Alright, so that would be how you multiply power to power of indices. So let's use numbers. Alright, so let's say we have we have three to the power of two, or you could say to the index of two or indices inside a bracket and this is two on the outside as well so this will be three the power was two on the inside and we're gonna multiply it by the power on the outside all right so this will give us some um, three two times two will give us four so in some cases you could leave your answer as this but in some cases they want your full answer or your correct answer so to got this to get your full answer you have to multiply three by itself four times So 3 to the power of 4, four. we got this answer, um, it will give us 81. Alright. I need them extra pages, let's see. Alright, 
let's see if anything can go over here let's see uh let's draw a line here and not to go into that all right so let's say we have y to the power of 4 I want to put this inside a bracket uh, with the with the power of 5 all right so we, we're gonna do this one just like how we do the others you're gonna multiply the powers on the outside which which should give us y let's say we want to write like you don't have to write out this again uh, you don't have to write out this but just to make it clear how we got our answers so it should be y to the fourth multiplied by the power of five on the outside will give us y to the 20 to the power of 20 All right and we said that this number tell us how many times you should multiply this number by itself or this letter by itself all right so it should be y multiply by by itself 20 times and that's a very long very long stop thing to write out right now so what you could do for me you could just write to y to the power of 20 in the comment section all right yeah you could finish the rest in the comment section so comment y to the power of 20 in the comment section and i will congratulate you because you're doing a very good job all right so screenshot all of this you can screenshot it and, and, and write it in your notebook when you have the time all right i'm gonna do two more examples and we're gonna move on to our next topic and if you understand this topic you could let me know in the comment section all right all right uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let's use the color black all right all right suppose I give you a, a question like this let's use the letters um P and Q so P have the power of 2 and Q have the power of 3 and knowing that the fact uh, we're gonna put all of this into a bracket and on the outside of a bracket you have 4 how would you solve this we will solve this the same way as we do the, the ones before um, we're gonna have P to the power of 2 and we're gonna multiply this by 4 and we're gonna have let's use a different color don't want to get you guys a mix up let's use orange all right so we're gonna have q q to the power of three is this looks like a three uh, that looks much more better times four So yes, that's how you, you do this one. So it should be two p to the power of two multiplied by four and should be q to the power of three multiplied by four. 
and your final answer you'll get B 4 times 2 which is 8 looks like a 8 um, and this should be Q to the power of 12 Alright, because we multiply the 4 times the 3 to give us the Q12 and to get the 8, we multiply the 4 times 2 to get the 8. Alright, so let's do the final one. Let's see if we can hold right here. Let's use a different color. Um, let's use black or black. No, red. Alright, so let's say you have... Five N squared inside a bracket of two. How would you solve this one? So let me know in the comment section how you will solve this problem. Alright, so knowing that 5 would actually mean the same thing as the power of 1. But they didn't put 1 inside here, but it's the same thing as 5 to the power of 1. So it would be 5. To the power of 1 multiply by the power of 2 which was which which is this power on the outside so it's this power on the outside you multiply the 5 by all right and we're gonna have let's write the n out here so it should be n to the power of 2 multiply by the power of 2 which was outside of the bracket so 5 1 multiplied by the power of 2 let's use a different color let's use uh, purple should give us um 5 to the power of 2 and n would give us 2 times 2 would give us 4 and knowing that this is a number right and this is a letter we could actually get a different answer for this if you should um, go into that deeper as in like um, 5 to the power 2 will, be, will mean the same thing as 25 because 5 times 5 will give us, will give us 25 so we'll have 25 n to the fourth so this is the same thing so either answer could be correct you could have 5 to the power second with n to the fourth or it could have 25 n to the fourth okay guys so if this um topic is straightforward to you just let me know if you understand this topic you could also let me know in the comment section and please leave a like to this video and also subscribe to my youtube channel all right so thank you guys for watching and have yourself a wonderful evening